Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to another session of Dwarf Fortress Tone Pages. We have successfully built a raising bridge in case another another beast will come and try to kill us so we can we can survive in the, inside of the fortress now we also have a trade depot no well not not yet not quite yet but it's being built now oh i think it he may want ah he probably will <laughs> he probably will haul every single thing every single thing outside uh, yeah but uh, luckily it's not too many things yeah will i says bring on the wear asses yes bring it on indeed barkalar welcome barkalar how, how are you doing i am fine thanks how are your games doing any new releases Any new alpha builds to play test? Needs masonry. Okay, we have a mason. So you should feel obliged to to build it. Okay, let's let's have a peek. So this is one layer below between aquifer, second layer. We can start here. I am interested in what in seeing what is what sort of metals we might find here. Barkalar says Steam is running a 50% off sale of Yalaxot. I'm working on Professor Nasty Time right now. Yeah, I thought so. But yes, okay. <clears throat> Professor Nasty Time. Whew. Yeah, I was thinking, you know. Without a lawgiver, without an army, without a bookkeeper, we can't survive for too long. So let's hope that, yeah, I will probably make everybody a mason now. So that they might actually build the depot. So we have a depot in case a caravan comes. Um... They will be able to unload their things. Hello, Ryan. Welcome. And yeah, let's take a look through this. I want to see this. I think there are different biomes here in on this map and I hope to find other ores in the other biomes. We have no playable versions yet of the professor. I'm keeping the gameplay between me and my tester whom I will not play much until the version is complete. All right, that way all of the obstacles remain a secret, okay. Uh, 
Ryan says, if the mountain home is pissed with you for the trade caravan laws, humans will definitely be pissed with me. My giant leopard just attacked them <laughs> and destroyed their caravan with all the steel. Wow, uh, steel weapons I asked for. Ah, uh, I see. Well, I don't think that Mountain Holmes is really angry at me. Considering that migrants have come... Maybe those migrants were outcasts, you may think. Yes, maybe those migrants were some outcasts, but... I don't think so, because one my, one merchant made it away, and he saw what happened. He saw that it wasn't us who attacked them. Hello, Egberg Arna, Linus. This is a difficult fortress. I suggest that when the when the lawgiver doesn't come, we just start something new. We will retire this and start something new here. Perhaps no longer in this area. But some some other place. Ryan says the half dead blood covered trader will make Google for good advertising for future migrants. Wow. <laughs> half dead and blood covered trader. <laughs> yeah. Well. What's everybody doing? Digging, digging, storing, construct wooden blocks. I see he's constructing wooden blocks. Well, well, wooden blocks, you know, there's only so many wooden blocks we really need. But what else could he do? For example, he could build he could do the slab thing. I'll make everybody a stone crafter commit and cancel the wood blocks job. They also said that if you want to bury merchants, if you want to bury dead me dead merchants, you should build a coffin and use it for burial. I have two free coffins able to be used for burial, yet nobody wants to bury this guy. It is it is strange. It's not how it's supposed to do uh, to work. Greetings, Nagidol says Andrew Riley. Hello, Andrew. Figure out how to not, how to receive notifications. Indeed, have you? Oh, that's good. Ryan says, I haven't, Andrew. My phone refuses. I think I might be removing my tavern soon. There is 80 visitors all dancing and causing a huge lag. Your tavern is certainly a point of attraction. Egberg says, question outside DF. Do you run Windows 10? Do you prefer it more than Windows 7 then? I might upgrade tonight, maybe. Well, now I'm running Windows 8 to 1, I think. Let me check. 81 Pro, yeah. I haven't upgraded yet. I, I don't. I don't. Uh, well, I don't see any reason to upgrade. I mean, what what's in it for me, in in the upgrade? Did I cancel this job? So what is everybody doing now? Farming plots. Okay, well, better farming than doing nothing, right? Mm. 
me I had a visit Raya Ryan says I had a visitor in my in my tavern die of old age <laughs> die of old age in the tavern his body has been lying laying on my refuse dump pile for two years now <laughs> so much for an attractive tavern on the browser I'm not sure how to set it up on mobile click top right and go to YouTube settings notification and manage all subscriptions scroll down to Nagida and click settings okay there you go there you go Ryan it should work <clears throat> Barkalar says Windows 10 is not a good OS for gamers Again, not a good, good OS operating system for gamers right now anyway. Too many games not working for Windows 10 users at the moment. <laughs> Egbergana is disappointed with me. Windows 8 is a virus. Might upgrade to 10 then. Well, yes, Windows 8 is a, vi <laughs> is a virus. That's why I use 8.1, but still. Like, I don't know. I may change my mind in a couple of days. I, I plan to pick up uh, flight simulation again but it depends. I'm sort of undecided between between racing simulation and flight simulation. I may just wait a couple more months for flight simulation. So there were no new metals here. Migrants, please be it migrants. Oh yes. A new migrant wave. One, two. Let's check them out. They are coming now from a different direction. Fish dissector. Mark Stwarf. Wound dresser, yes, surgeon. Great tracker, trapper, four, armor user, shield user, observer, gilder, climber, clothier, cheese maker, sector, Kitty, horse, fisherman, ambusher, marks dwarf, legendary climber. <laughs> Well, <laughs> not the migrant wave I was hoping for, but better than nothing, certainly. Eleven dwarves. Check out the legendary climber. No way, this one has got some kills. On a smith ear. Smith Smith tear Smith tear the goblin and this guy could killed two goblins why is why does he have legendary kills um Well, okay. Well, no, not, nothing against climbers. I was just thinking if the random number generator god has 
has uh, thought, okay, somebody legendary would be appropriate. Why not make him a legendary, I don't know, minor armor smith, metal smith, weapon smith, whatever. Legendary diagnoser would be a good thing. Legendary weaver, clothes, ma clothes maker, anything. Climber. Like we would need a lot of climbing here. Yeah. Okay, so now, yeah, uh, well, it's it's the summer wave, right? It's still not autumn and still not caravan. Maybe the lawgiver. Oh, oh, you didn't get a legendary climber. That was a cat. Was it indeed? It is right. Yeah, kitten, legendary climber. A pet. Oh, that's it. I see. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, that makes sort of sense, but... It makes more sense. <clears throat> so if I make everybody a stone crafter, maybe somebody will feel obliged to make the... make the thing. Engrave. Nobody really wants to engrave the memorial. Barkalar says, by the way, my new game may be done sometime this month if the development process continues go well. Really? Well, okay, so let's try to prospect the mines here, to this direction at least. Oh, I like how the gosling follows his master. So maybe we now can brew something. We might have some brewable plants now. Garden cheese. Sweet pods. Of course we have brewable plants here. So let's brew drink from plants on repeat. What is this? This is temporary prepared food. Cheese leaf, cress, cress leaf biscuits, reindeer cheese, reindeer cheese biscuits. Yes, all right, we should milk an animal again. On repeat. Barker says, I also see you started playing a new game, Witness. Are you enjoying it? Oh, well, yes, I am. I actually may, uh, may want to continue today after we find out that no lawgivers came with the, with the merchants. <laughs> I, I like that such puzzle game like Witness. I was looking for something similar. Maybe I should I should start playing myth. I I think I got it as a gift from somebody. All the whole myth series. I always wanted to try it. It's an old game. 
It's a nice puzzle, they, they say. Not myth, but, it, but it's called mist, I think, with a Y. Something like mist. Mist, right, this. Masterpiece edition complete pack. There. And I see I've got Magic Island, uh, Magic Island. Monkey Island still to play. Monkey Island 1. All right, uh, so not, nothing extraordinary here. No new metals. I vote for flights FSX. I will join you then, Egberg. Yes. Well, maybe I'll start this weekend really because I my my fingers are already twitching for some flight simulation here. I I need to I need to refresh my flight simulating knowledge. Um, I've been flying the Beechcraft uh, B19000, I think it was. It was a nice um, two-engine, two-turboprop engine, small aircraft. Um, but um, I, I stopped about at the time when I figured out that I need, I need. Um, how are they called? Uh, you know these these throttle control panels. Uh, like I have my throttle control from the on the Hotas, but it's only it's only control for two engines and maybe the mixture. Um, but I actually need. Two control, two sliders for two engines. I need two sliders for uh, the the angle of the propeller, and I need two sliders for I think the mixture for each of them. So I need like six sliders, and that's what my current Hotas cannot offer. And also, I realized that when landing, it's it's good to to have uh, have this have these uh, slider and, and the axis configured so that at a certain position it it, it starts to to uh, reverse somehow uh, that um, that is also something I, I cannot do yet with my simulation so I was thinking of ordering ordering those throttle panels from mad cats but i wonder if there isn't anything more more sophisticated i would i would not mind to give a lot of money for for a good controller in this sense but what mad cats and uh, Cytec is producing is just cheap crap sold expensively i don't know uh, so uh, have you Played IL two? No, no, well, I, I have not. Egberg says Beechcraft three fifty. Well, I don't know about that Beechcraft three fifty. Beechcraft three fifty. Oh yeah, this is a nice uh, King Air. Yeah, I think that's even simulated. That's even offered in um, X plane. Well, I was. What was this? What was it, 1900 or 19... Uh, 19,000? 1900. 1900 was... Beechcraft? No, 1900. 1900D it was. Yeah, 1900D what I had. That's what I bought. Um, I, I really like this this airplane. It's it's small enough uh, and it's... Uh, it's, it's it's a good model. There is a good model of it for for X plane. And um, how is it? How exactly does this one differ from the Beechcraft three hundred and fifty?
turboprop fixed wing aircraft is this one and this one is even even heavier right what's the minimal takeoff weight Oh, the, the 1900 was derived from B200 and 350 was proved 200 proved so popular that Beechcraft so both are <laughs> both both aircrafts have the same ancestor King uh, Beechcraft 200 right so yeah 1900 is a bit bigger. Hey Optimus, have you heard of abduction? Ask Isix. No, send me the link. Spiritual succession of successor of mist. Oh, spiritual abduction, abduction, abduction. Just Google for it. Abduction, okay. Adventure video game. Spiritual Science previous adventure game was funded on Kickstarter. Ooh, and I don't know about it. How come I don't know about abduction on Kickstarter? I wouldn't have supported it. But I certainly like to follow these things. Update to an update to an update. Nice. Oh, but the graphics is sort of weird, isn't it? Hmm. Not sure I like. I mean, it's certainly good art, but not the sort of art I was expecting. But maybe mist is not what I am expecting either. Let me check out mist. I just read about mist in the early uh, game magazines, you know. But yeah, it's it's okay graphics. I mean, for that time. Yeah, I think I might take a look at mist sooner rather than later. But yeah, I was thinking, um, Egberg, are you are when you're flight simming? Are you um, are you flying online with uh, the IVO or something like like that, or are you just flying single player? Because I had most fun flying flying with the IVO, and I, I need to I need to reactivate my account there. I was a member of the UK and Ireland IVO uh, fraction. Cyan games have a kind of odd and strange atmosphere. Well, yes. Well, the last game like Mist, I think, I played was um, not by Cyan, but uh, I don't know what software company made it. It was called Zork Nemesis. 
it was like um, another part in the Zork series, but the Zork games before were more like text games, accompanied by some images here and there, but more or less just text games. Um, so why exactly? Ah, we can't brew because we don't have any we don't have any rock pots. Ha! No rock pots indeed. Yeah, what to do then? We will have uh, another workshop. Eggberg says it depends. I used to run an own server with my uncle. I really don't like those huge servers with people who just just play and I run FSX. Mm -hmm. Well, I always was uh, was pleased to have some some air traffic some live air traffic control from other people who are really enjoying air traffic control. Nagi, if you still like space game, take a look at Space Rangers HD. A war apart on the stream, on the Steam. It's on sale. I'm thinking of picking it up. Well, space game. You know, last my last space game was was your Rodina. It's it's an okay game, but I just don't want to spend the time spend any time playing it. War apart. Yeah. The Unknown Space Saga returns. Mm. Yeah, this can be, this can be fun. Sort of like um, this other game I was playing. Um, what was it called? You know this reassembly, um, reassembly thing. But no, I I don't think it's worth my time. It's a, it's a fun casual game, sure. Furniture, not furniture. I want stone. Other stone, no plan, no whatever. More dwarf, less plain talk, says Ryan. <laughs> well, Egberg says, I mean, there used to be people who just fool around on the big servers, but to be on a normal server tower. Etc. is perfect. Have you have you played? Well, that, that's I haven't uh, haven't encountered any fools on Ivo. To be honest, They're all pretty serious people. Like, of course, I I have I have uh, heard and seen a twelve-year-old or like really young kid flying a super heavy Boeing whatever. Seven, eight, seven. Um, but from what I could tell, he could fly it. So, uh, and and it. it uh, oh, diplomat has left unhappy. Look at this. Of course, he has left unhappy because there is nobody to talk to. Um, but yeah, yeah, he was like. Mm, 
it there was such a such an undertone like boasting when he was when he was approaching an airport um, and uh, it, it felt a little arrogant um, but nevertheless i mean he he adhered to the protocol he had he knew his stuff so you couldn't really complain about him I mean, you could probably see that he is just flying it for fun, but he could fly the thing. And that's... Um, no. That's good. So, my merchants have arrived, but I don't have a diplomat. So I think this is this is beyond repair. Diplomat has left, stymied. Uh, like there are in flight simulation, there are there are like two big flight simming organization. I enjoy, I joined this one. And the other was uh, VATSIM, which is probably more popular in, in the American continent. Um, and uh, is older, is older, but... Uh, I don't know the current situation about VATSIM, but user the user base I don't know what's the user base members Ivo has over 170,000 members Vatsim has like 130 I think Ivo arose from the to, to have something else than than Vatsim and it's it's been here only since well since December 1998 so Formation. How come? I read that Vatsim is much older than Ivo, yet it has been formed much later. I don't understand this. Satco. Ah, because Vatsim was previously Satco. Okay. The first large network. I was founded when a group of people left Setco to form a new network management after management conflicts developed with the organization. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, so so there was there was some organization conflict and yeah. Yeah, but I I I was I has I had a good time. They were really friendly people. At least in the it depends from uh, from fraction to fraction. I see many many German flight simmers join the UK and Ireland fraction because somehow the German IVO is not what they like. <laughs> so, I when I was flying in the UK uh, fraction, I was encountering like sixty seventy percent Germans. Has anyone played Prospector? Uh, space themed roguelike? No. Prospector. No, I haven't played it.
So, well, what to do about this fortress? Merchants did not bring any diplomat. I thought that the diplomat which they would bring would become our new lawgiver, but I can't play like play a fortress without without any dwarves here, without any military and without any any mayors or nothing. So I guess we will just retire. Because this this looks like this has no no future. Too bad. I don't know if it happens all the t every time when when all of your seven original dwarves die, or at least all your all of your nobility dies. But sad story. I would continue this if it was possible. You should look up who's your daddy on Steam. Should you enjoy the game, you say? <laughs> what? Who's your daddy? What did he pick up? A uh, lock. Are you playing now like a toddler? Uh-huh. <laughs> ah, you have to protect the toddler from committing suicide or destroying the household, right? Uh. Why does he have a lock there? Why, why, why does he need the lock? <laughs> He's going to <laughs> to poison himself. <laughs> And you have to find out where he is, I think. Ah, okay. Can't you just close him in the bath? And he can't die. Oh, look at this. There's a mains plug, but he can't do anything with it. So the, the point is like a, like a competition between, between daddy and his son. He must save his kid from all the <laughs> all the um, dangerous things in the household. Chore started. <laughs> well, nice, nice, fun game. Um
So Ryan says he's got a drowning room complete. Just waiting for a siege now. Isaac says, what is the sex of the surviving children? Well, the two children who survived our photos were two girls, but they are already dead. They, they died in the next, after the next migrant wave was followed by a wear ass. So they are no longer alive. Well, I don't think there is much we can do here with this fortress, guys. I'm sorry. It would be would have been would have made a quite a playable fortress but I'm going to retire this and um, think about picking up flight simulation again so I'll probably see you tomorrow then um, Thanks for watching, thanks for joining the stream. We'll see you next time occasionally. I don't know whether I will when I will play an, another dwarf fortress here still. Uh, maybe I will just give it a rest for a while and um, see two other games right now. So thanks for watching. See you.